Hello and welcome back YouTube. This is Chuck again. Today we're going uh, to look at some of the things that I've got on my desk. Some of the commission work is getting ready to go out the door. What I have in front of you right now is a whole bunch of old style stormtroopers I did for a gentleman by the name of Dave who is also known as Frost Reaver. If you can see that real well. There we go. And uh, do a little bit of lighting effect on the sergeant there on the plasma gun, plasma pistol, I should say. The rest of the plasma gunners have a little bit of OSL effect there to them. Just wanted to throw in something a little extra. This is going to be my general uh, three up as far as my commission's concerned. In other words, three colors and a wash. Uh, I also offer the optional the optional of the varnishes or doing uh, what we're going to show with the blood angels here next with my brother's blood angels and I'll pan over to them real slowly for you there's the blood angels there uh, what we've done here for my brother because he wants to get back into 40k said he wanted to play uh, he used to play orcs oh the old school orcs now he's deciding he wants to do blood angels so I had a lot of extra marines around, a lot of jump packs, because I don't play with them, because I'm a Space Wolf guy. And we like to have our feet firmly planted on the ground. Uh, goes well with my own, how I feel about uh, being up in the air, because I am afraid of heights. So uh, the wolves go good with me. As you, as you see here, uh, jump packs come off, so you can put the regular packs on there. They can go on any other guys which is nice so if they're in a box or something of this nature and they get knocked off they can just snap to whoever there use quite a few different kits with this one I use the uh, new blood angels kit for the, the death company I also used a command squad and I used uh, some basic marine uh, assault marine stuff in there uh, right next to it we have some uh, blood bowl orcs that I'm working on for Frost Reaver. This is going to be in their upcoming event. They're going to do a demo called Spring Recruits. It's going to be here uh, first week of April. You can check it out. All you got to do is do a Google search, Spring Recruits. It's going to be in Lee Summit. It's a three day event. A uh, good place to also pick up some cheap, inexpensive uh, 40K or other models. There's going to be several vendors out there as well. A lot of local vendors of course as well uh, also we're doing the uh, dark millennium box there the new 40k box set doing those also got the chaos to go along with it uh, also going to do a standard three up unless unless I think I can get more done before my time expires on getting these back to them for their demo. So that's what's currently on my desk. Uh, you can see other things that I use on my desk as well. There's some uh, apple barrel paint. Wow, imagine that. Yes, yes, I do use apple barrel paint occasionally. Just kind of depends on the need and how I use it. I got some flow aid. There's my uh, Imperial Dice Cup I picked up from the local GW store. And of course, uh, wide assortment of brushes. I'm still going through a lot of these cheaper brushes. I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, I got the uh, quick shade dip there. Of course I use this old coffee cup here for water. Notice the handle's broken off so I don't accidentally drink out of it. Good thing to remember. Uh, also got a uh, something interesting here I don't see on a lot of people's desk. I got a uh, block here that I throw my exacto blades, uh, exacto knives in. Makes them a little handier to grab a hold of. That's just a scrap piece of foam. Got some varnish back there and then we pan back over here and we have my airbrushes and an air gun. Uh, I do have the Citadel air gun. Use a spray of varnishes on models uh, when I'm done with them. Also use it for terrain. Use it for base coating sometimes. Also use it for priming occasionally if I have a large amount of models like uh, the Imperial Guard you saw earlier. Uh, these jars are really handy if you got them. These are the uh, ones coming with the spray gun from Citadel. 
tells you exactly how much Citadel paint to how much water you need to use in this. Now, you're going to see a big no-no in this jar. Alright, yeah, those airbrush things. Yeah, do not use those for your airbrush. However, on the GW, and I'm going to get my slimy stuff here, if I can get a hold of it. This is the needle for the GW spray gun, and as you can see, it is kind of gunky right now. However, it's made completely out of brass except for this little O-ring. You can use those cleaners on this. So, plus, it's it's an okay airbrush, uh, air gun, excuse me. I have to correct myself there, as I was. Now, airbrush. <laughs> Uh, here is the Patriot 105. Love this airbrush. It's fantastic. Uh, mine actually came with two different uh, needle tips in it. Don't know why uh, for it. However, it's really great. I have shot Apple Barrel craft paint through it. I have used washes, varnishes, uh, all sorts of things with the larger uh, tip that was in the uh, box when I got mine. Also I have uh, my Badger Chrome, my original one, had problems with this because I had bubbles in the paint cup. Couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, Les helped me out, told me I needed to tighten down, tighten down the regulator, right? Well, he says, he told me in an email that uh, I could uh, put a pair of pliers to it. Well, I was still new at the airbrush and I put a pair of pliers to it without covering this up and flattened different spots in this little grip right through here. There we go. That's better. Right through there. Uh, so I had to get a new, I bought myself a new regulator there, uh, a new regulator for it and uh, it worked fine. Although I did buy another chrome airbrush so what's nice is that I have a backup in case I bend the needle I have an extra needle in that I put the finer needle in uh, the chrome because I do have uh, a mo some model air uh, another thing is, is uh, as far as paint goes I use a wide variety of paint I'm just going to pan you back over here I use a wide variety of paint I use I use P3 paint here. I've got some some GW. This is a Goblin Green because I've been doing a lot of Nurgle. You saw my my last video like forever ago. I do that. Uh, also use the old uh, coat to arms coat to arms paint. Old GW paint. Love this. this. is the greatest paint ever, in my personal opinion. Also use the game color as well. well that's about it um, oh one more item I forgot and I should be more excited about this than anything else is yes this is Perdita I did get myself a Malifaux crew just the standard Perdita crew just to try them out um, let you guys know how that goes if I have any sort of uh, like to try to get a video like I said once a week up if I can what we're going to do is I'll try to do some Malifaux stuff and I'm going to try to do some Horde stuff as well for you because I do have a Troll Bloods uh, army as well. So that's it for now. Uh, guys take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.